Welcome back everyone, this is Sports Cards 24-7 and today we're going to do two boxes of Gold Label. I've had it for a while but my buddy also had some so we're going to go ahead and do a little uh, head to head box break here. See who can uh, pull out the better pit, uh, hits and Jason's here, he's going to go ahead and open the first one then I'm going to jump in and open my second. So, like I said, we don't talk about cards, we open them. Let's go ahead and open some right now. Let's start the rip. I do talk about cards quite a bit, though. <laughs> I love to talk cards. It's fun. And sports cards 24-7, because believe me, I don't work with them all day, but I think about them all day. <laughs> and I'm crawling around in an attic or under a house, you know, chasing a wire or a pipe or something. I just think of all the fun. Now, you can tell with this product very easily... That one of them has a gold frame auto, and I think it's usually the first couple packs. Mm -hmm. So I would take the first two and put those right on the back. Okay. That's that's what we'll do. Yep. Just kind of like Bowman again. Yep. Okay. All right. We'll start down towards the bottom then. Let's see. Um, I've seen some awesome autos. We paid under $90 a box for this because I jumped on it a while ago. Blowout right now, and I hate giving advertisements. I think it's about ninety dollars a box right now for this too. So it's a fun, affordable product, and a lot of great cards and names. Donnie Baseball, first class. It says the Ooh, class in the back, right? We got a red uh, Daryl Strawberry, Ooh, number one, right off the bat. Seventy-five. Let's go ahead and sleeve Mister Strawberry up. Mister Strawberry, red. Now that's a cherry. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> And his Machado, whatever you think about him, he's Machado. I call him uh, the end of Pedroia. I know. And we got George Springer, and we got Bellinger. That's a decent, oh, Cody decent, boy. Decent pack. Here. You want that? Oh. Yeah, I got to clean my mess up. Theo gets all upset when I have a mess. Yeah, my up. house is a mess, but my breaking table is clean, so that's all that matters in life. All right, pack number two. Whit Merrifield's on the back. He's a ball player. Unsung ball hero. Or ball player right there. He's a heck of a player. What do you think about old JD? He's coming um, back to Boston this I year. I hope he wakes up a little bit and yeah. starts drinking some uh, caffeinated coffee. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. He's capable, but boy, this this year he weren't. No, he looked old this year, and I didn't think that yeah. would happen that quick with him. It's Aussie. LBs. Good ball player right there. Oh, um, cool. Jr. If you had a Braves pack, you'd yeah, love it. Yeah, we'll slab him because I'm starting to personally collect him a little bit. Don't tell nobody, but <laughs> I, th oop, I think he's going to be quite a ball player. Sorry, bud. That's all right. Probably my hands are like, getting jittery. And there's a ball player, Robin Yao. He was a, he was oh, a man. great shortstop back in the day. I think he finished his career at shortstop, too. Didn't he yeah. play shortstop? Maybe I think he went to third base at the very end, but I could be wrong. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got Whit Merrifield. Even Iron Man himself went over to third at the end. Oh, so. I know. Well, it's, you, <laughs> that shorts up your body from all the abuse of all the years of double plays. And, oh, that's know. a position that it hurts. Oh, yeah. I played it like a little bit in the league, but uh, I wasn't good enough. I was at third base. I had a pretty good arm before my rotator cuff tore, so I'd be in the outfield. Carrera. <laughs> Every time, huh? Now this yep. guy, we're gonna we're gonna put him in a penny sleeve at least. I think he's, he's a decent hitter. Yeah, yeah, he did pretty I'm, good I'm in the even, playoffs. I'm not. I'm just gonna call him Yoshi. I'm not even gonna try. Oh, I I hear you. <laughs> you do the last name swap a lot on this channel. Yeah, and then we got McGuire. He was a ball player. Oh yeah, Charlie Blackman. I got a Charlie Blackman story for you. I bought a box of 2009 Bowman Chrome. Didn't know who Charlie Blackman was, but I pulled his auto. And for some reason, all I did was put it back in the sleeve. the sleeve and threw it in the box and left it there until last year I found it. Nice. You t oh, that's a 19 <laughs> or 09? 09. Wow. Yeah. And Find I, any Trout's in there? Uh, Trout's 11. No, but his first Bowman's 09. It was, I, it was not in there then. Yeah, no, I, I know. I'm just kidding, but... Yeah. Finding Blackman's pretty nice pull right there. And then Frank Thomas, big man right there. Big yeah, hurt. Very big man. Animal. I like Big Hurt a lot. Oh, yeah. I loved him. He was a good replacement for when Bo kind of te tethered off there. And I'll tell you what. This man had no steroids involved. That's him. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> he never changed his size or shape, you know. <laughs> Until this day, it's him. Oh, yeah. Well, now he uses new genetics. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's for something else. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we all get old. All right, we got Syndergaard here. Thor, Thor himself. I like to call him. Bo Zinder. Bogey. Another guy I personally collect. We'll sleeve him up. I'm looking at that guy behind him. Brandon McKay. Is that the pitcher? Oh, my God, you got a batting. That might be a short print. Oh, really? Because he's such a pitcher. Right. And uh, being in American League, they don't really do the DH as much. Yeah. Well, I'll sleeve him I up mean, just in case. Oh, my God, I love that card. Yep. And I love the card behind it. Oh, yeah, well, we, we know the box I should have broke last time on your channel. I had a Ken Griffey gold parallel auto we don't, to I number know. nine that I, I pulled. I know, I'm jealous. I know, I'm still like an R of that thing. Anyways, we got Griffey Jr. All the guys that I remember when I was growing up as a kid. He was one of the bomb yep. players. Yeah, that hit bombs. He could hit a ball. Look at that jersey. That's yeah, cool. Chris Sale. I think that's a spring like, training jersey. Uh, I think it's just fading out in the oh, all black okay. and white. I thought it was an ombre pattern. No, I think I think most of it's black and white, and then they bring the color up. That's how they're doing these. I learned that from my girlfriend's manicure. The ombre pattern. <laughs> I didn't know what it was till the other day. That's so. too much information for my brain, Theo. Hey, it's a manicure or pedicure. What is a hands? <laughs> manicure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get it straight. I get so many myself, you know, for you, the you, channel. Yeah, you probably do. No. <laughs> we got Garrett Cole here. Good ball player. Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano. He's steady. Think he's Hall of Famer? Here's a guy that oh, might. Oh, oh. Mr. Bo. Right nice. behind him. Bo rookie. That's in good shape, too. Is that a class three? Nice. I think that's the best one you can get for, you know, not numbered parallel. Yeah, no, that's a, that card is in good shape, too. That's probably gradable. Nice. Be careful. Oh, I got hands like a surgeon. <laughs> we got Trey Turner and Marte. I like, he's a good ball player, Marte. Yeah, he's fast. Yeah. Oh, now he's on, uh, not Tampa. Or is, yeah, he's on Tampa yeah, now. Yeah, he's on Tampa. Tampa's, Tampa, I'm telling you, has got a good good team. All right, so I know this is the auto pack. I can feel the weight difference. Yeah, so okay. So I'm going to bump this one up. Yep, absolutely. Make the auto pack the last pack. I like it. Class three. Those are two class threes right there. Nice. Oh, class three. Man. All right, all right, here we go. Let's not. Josh Bell, I've called it out before that this guy's quite the gentleman. Ladies love him. <laughs> I've witnessed it. <laughs> okay. Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller. Yeah. What a stud. Max. This guy, I would love to have him on the Red Sox. Oh, my. He's a stud. He is a fighter, too. Oh, here we go. Aquino. I like Aquino. I hope so. I've got three of his finest rookies that I'd like to have nice value come someday. Mm, absolutely. And then we got Robinson Cano again in a different... What do you know, Robbie Cano? Yeah, but... We get him in two different... Oh, classes. Yeah. Yeah. Class three and class one. Yeah. Nice. All right. And the pack everybody's been waiting for. The big, heavy, fat pack. Oh, here we go. Mike Trout. I want it to be Mike, good. Mike, Mike Trout. Auto. Let's, just, let's just get it over and pop it. Well, <laughs> mine's going to have the trout. Yours might have something really nice. All in right. We'll let you have the trout. Then you can give me the one I gave you back. <laughs> gave me. Chapman. Ooh, Nick Nico. Oh, not a bad That's name not at bad, all. Not bad at all. That's a heavy freaking card, man. I know. I think we need a thick sleeve. I can try, yeah, but. Yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely a thick sleeve. Yeah. And then we got a Yoshi. Let's put Yoshi in a sleeve. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. You got one kicking over here, bud? I will. I got to dig him up, but I got some somewhere. Oh, you always have. Um, Here, let's switch places. I'm okay. going to go ahead and give him some thick uh, sleeves, or we can just do it right after the video. How about yeah, that? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Oh, right here. Those are some thick points in a team bag there. Perfect. Okay. All right, I will get my stuff out of your way. And now, folks, the time you've all been waiting for... The guy that's going to pull some straight fire. I am predicting hopefully something nice in this box. Our box. But you never know. You never, ever know. All right, we'll get Mr. Nico out of your way. That's awesome. No worries. I like that. Was it's it on, numbered? On card and everything. Really? Nice. A lot of on-card autos this year, I've noticed. And a lot of nice packaging. It should be. Yep. 
I am not a fan of stickers. I know, like, Stan Musial, they did a birthday celebration, and he's no longer with us, so they used the stickers, and that's cool. Right. For the exception where they can no longer sign it, and they have it available, that's great. But, for the money Tops is making, they need to step their game up, too. We have paid more and more for cards every year. The quality of cards is great, but they're damaged a lot. Um... I love Tops. I don't really open Panini Baseball, but I feel like the price and the dedication we show to that company, they can show some uh, care back to the consumer and give us what we really want. All right, first pack with a Mr. Carlos Correa, Noah Syndergaard, hey, a Cal Ripken, Class 3, Ichiro, Class 2, and a Vlad Guerrero, Jr., Slide that pile right there. You want to just keep yours out? Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll sleep them up when we're done. Yep. We're both kind of pressed for time. and I'm just glad we got to do two videos today. I was looking at maybe only one. And uh, Garrett Cole, Reese Hoskins, Nick Castellinos, Mookie Betts, and a Gavin Lux, Class 1. There you go. You want to throw him in a penny sleeve for me at least? Yep. And I'll give you these guys right here. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm still going to need that for your auto. Oh, that's right. Sorry. It's all right. You just, whatever. All right, folks. We got another. There it is, your lux. Hopefully, I have good lux. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I'm going to put that right there. You're going to straddle this. Tony. I love Tony Gwynn. One of my favorite players growing up. Shohei Otani. I hope he brings it next year. Robel Garcia, rookie card. Oh, there's the card that you got autographed. Get your own, Nico. I like yours more than one trade. Uh, no. <laughs> Jorge Soler. I used to be a huge Cubs fan. I still am a big Cubs fan for one player, so I shouldn't say I'm a Cubs fan. I should say I'm a Chris Bryant. Oh, yeah, it looks like that got caught in the printing machine. Yeti, another Hall of Famer in the making right there. I love Yeti. He's a ball passionate ball player. Yeah. Look at this corner on that Aaron Judge. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. This is like a $100 box of cards for seven packs, and I'm paying for that. that. I can't get to focus because it's so bent. See that, folks? I'm going to have to send that back in. I got another box of 2018 with a... Clear acetate to 10 future stars, mm -hmm. and it's got print lines running up and down the whole oh, thing. I know. So, I actually talked to and good news I don't know if I've said this yet, but I did talk to Tops about that redemption. And I've had some uh, mailing issues and issues with the mail, so they might be able to redeem it. I sent it in, so keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, Bo Bichette looks a little bit better shaped than the others, but not perfect. Clayton Kershaw, I'm so happy for him. Hey, a Zach Gallon rookie, numbered to 50, 10 out of 50. And would you look at that? It's got four corners on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had him right there. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Bryce Harper. And what do you know? Robbie Cano. Two packs left. One that's like a brick and the others that feel like paper. The 100-year-old question. What weighs more, 100 pounds of brick or 100 pounds of paper? That's right. <laughs> J.D. Martinez, Ozzy Albes, Yoan Moncada. There's one guy I really wanted to see in this pack. and we've Oh, there we go. It's a class one, and it's not in perfect shape. I'm not totally happy with these uh, gold labels conditions. Mm -hmm. They're definitely a little dinged up. It's not hard, but it is a little. Yeah, it's a PC hit. I PC a lot of the big rookies and then move on from them a couple years later. The last pack, let's pull some last pack mojo here. Look at that thing shine in there. All right, Trevor Story. Man, that is like heavy. It's heavy pack. Ray, ah! <laughs> Woo! That's a really good ball player. It's not a number, but it's a, it's a good auto. Definitely. I like that. Definitely. That deserves some knuckles. All right. Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. Yeah, nice, nice ball. 
both both Balkans had nice nice autos. You know, yeah, Nico and these he Nico coming into the season was far more collectible. I think the reason that he has the late season push is obviously the playoff ten home runs, but there's a hunt to him trying to find what was overlooked. That's always a lot of fun. I've come to realize. So, all right, hey. I think we had pretty even boxes there, yeah, nice. so we're gonna keep them. <laughs> hey, unless, unless you want to, you know, we can no, flip. I'm gonna keep we them. Flip. I, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> but uh, hey, like I said, we got two giveaways coming up. The uh, November one's gonna be Happy Cards Day giving or Cards Giving. No, Happy Cards Giving Day. There we go. Woo! And then I'm gonna do a Happy Holiday card giveaway. They're gonna be featuring some really fun stuff, some awesome cards, and I hope you guys. We'll participate, sub, like, tell your friends, tell your family. Sports cards 24-7. I hate to brag, but I give away more cards here than channels with thousands of subs. Because, you know what? This is what it's all about, enjoying opening cards. And I like to share that with as many people as possible. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate you stopping by. Anything else you want to add, Jason? Nope. Good ripping boxes right there. Yeah, a lot fun. of fun. A lot of fun. Well, thank you very much for coming. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.